All right, so let's look at finding the derivative using uh, the product rule, and we're going to work with trig functions this time. So the product rule, if we have two functions multiplied together, so we take the derivative of f times g with respect to x, the derivative is where the product rule says it's the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. Okay, So it's the derivative of the first times the second plus the derivative of the second times the first. So let's look at some examples. All right. So in this first problem, we have f of x equals cosine x times sine x plus 2x. So here, the cosine x, that's going to be our first function. And sine x plus 2x is going to be our second function. All right. So the derivative is going to be the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine x. Okay. You have to know the derivative of your the derivatives of your trig functions. I'm assuming you know that. Times, so it's the derivative of the first function, so the derivative of cosine is negative sine, times the second function, sine x plus 2x plus the derivative of the second function. Okay, so the derivative of the second function, derivative of sine is cosine plus the derivative of 2x, which is 2. Now, Let's simplify this a little bit so I can distribute sine x. So I get f prime is equal to, and this is going to be negative sine squared x plus 2x, I'm sorry, not plus, it's going to be a negative times a positive, that's going to be minus. 2x sine x plus, and then I'll remove the parentheses because I'm just distributing a 1, so I'll get cosine x plus 2. And we can leave our answer like this. Okay. Alright, so let's take a look at another one. So we've got f of x equals secant x times cosecant x. All right, so here's our first function. Here's our second function. Okay. So the derivative is the derivative of the first function. So the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x, so there's the derivative of the first function, times the second function, so times cosecant x, and then here I've got plus the derivative of the second function, and the derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x cotangent x times, okay, this is the derivative of the second function, times the first function, secant x. All right, so now I have f prime of x is equal to secant x tangent x 
times cosecant x and then I'm going to just change this to minus cosecant x cotangent x secant x. Alright, so let's see. What I'm going to do here is notice I have a common factor of secant x and I have a common factor of cosecant x. So what I'm going to do is factor that out. So I get f prime of x equals secant x cosecant x times tangent x minus cotangent x. And I guess we can just leave the answer like this. If you wanted to, you could change everything, put it in terms of sine and cosine and see if it would simplify more. Uh, you could write tangent as sine over cosine and cotangent as cosine over sine and combine those if you wanted to, but I think this would be fine here leaving it as like as this. Alright, so uh, I hope this video helped. Uh, I hope you'll check out my other videos. Thanks.